going on guys? My name is Mushroom. And my name is Lemon. We're doing a quick video to guys today to talk about the uh, specialist in Black Ops 3 that is Rejack. And we've got a clip here from our friend It's Dusty who gets a quad with a combat axe. But due to the uh, specialist not allowing the feed to continue, he only gets two on the feed there. So we're going to talk about this as being a major problem for feeders. Um, and just the flow of the game in Black Ops 3. Now Prestige's Key or Ryan, he did a video on what his thoughts are with the rejack ability and what should be done to nerf it and change it so that it doesn't break the momentum of the gameplay, which is Black Ops 3. Like that's what makes up Black Ops 3 is this speedy gameplay and that's what makes it so fun and awesome. Um, if you want to check that out, I'll, I'll put an annotation on the screen here so you can go check out his video because he does talk about it pretty in depth. But what we're going to be talking about today is why it's bad for feeders um, specifically snipers and knifers. He spoke about what it was, uh, why it was bad for like reg gunning and just general gameplay um, and breaking immersion and things like that. What's going to happen here, as you saw in the clip, and we'll break it down here really slow for you, is this first kill doesn't come up on the feed. So you can see there it doesn't come up at all. The second kill does because he's not rejacked. Once this guy's come up again, he gets that kill, and this guy here actually just rejacked just over the other side, so he doesn't count on the feed either. So what happens is, in a quad scenario where Dusty should have got a quad, it just comes up with two kills, which was ridiculous, and that can happen at any point in time if someone has the reject ability charged and ready. That's right, it's kind of uh, this really disruptive element of the game that we reckon needs to be nerfed, um, just because... A, for people going for clips on YouTube, I know it's a small minority of people, but it is a really, really bad factor. And we've got some ideas, possibly, as ways to come up with maybe fixing this for uh, the release of the game. The best way would be to completely remove the last stand aspect, which is what uh, Prestige's key actually came up with as well. And then give it a retroactive and a proactive effect. So the proactive effect would be uh, having it, if you walked into a room, if you pressed it before you walk into the room, like every other specialist ability, and then you died um, while it was still charged, you would get all of your kill streaks back, all your score streaks would come back 100%. If you use it retroactively, so if you die and then use it, you get 50% back. So it's still like a reward, but it's, uh, it's, it's retroactive and it doesn't give you as much. Yeah, it's definitely nerfing the ability to completely revive yourself and give yourself a second chance because the previous Call of Duty's that haven't had a second chance or a last stand have been really good. Uh, the flow of the game is so much better. I'm not entirely sure why they brought this back. I know they tried to do something different with it by making it its own specialist. But it, it's it's really disruptive and um, uh, to be honest, if we're going for knifing clips and we get a quad combat axe with two rejects in there, it there's going to be it, a lot of... It throws you out and it's not cool. If you think our, our solution to this was really good, hit up David Vonderhaar on Twitter, see if they can fix it, hit up Prestige's key, just let him know that we loved his video and that it works, his idea was cool as well, um, I just kind of added a little bit something different to it, but that's us, hopefully, hopefully this gets fixed before the Black Ops 3 release. What you've been watching is just some knifing clips that we got during the beta, uh, just some little fun stuff before the Combat X came out, so I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you guys on the next upload. Peace.